stampers welcome to the craft room in today's video I'd like to show you how to use your watercolor wonder crayons to make some really really pretty encaustic effects on your cards and paper craft projects so let's get started you're going to need your watercolor wonder crayons I'm using the brights collection here and I also have two pieces of whisper white cardstock that I've cut down and each of these pieces is two inches by four inches of course the size of your pieces are going to depend on how you would like to use the piece in your project I'm also going to bring in a scrap piece of paper as well as a pressing board so you could always use your ironing board for this project for our purposes I have a smaller pressing board here and I'm also going to go ahead and bring in a scrap piece of paper to protect my pressing board as well so we're going to start out with one of our pieces of Whisper White cardstock and I want to make a bit of an abstract flower as I did in this card here. So to do that we're going to take our watercolor wonder crayons and we're also going to need a hobby blade so one of these sharp blades here and I'm going to begin with my Daffodil Delight crayon and what I'm going to do is actually whittle away at my crayon. I'm actually scraping my crayon so that I can get some shavings onto my cardstock. And if you want, as you're shaving your crayon, you can be turning your crayon because then basically you're sharpening it and shaving it all at the same time. So I'm making a little pile of these Daffodil Delight shavings here on my Whisper White cardstock and these are going to serve as the center of my abstract flower and you can move your shavings around as I am here with the tip of my blade just going to add a little bit more and when you feel satisfied with the amount you can stop and then we're going to decide on the color of our flower I'm actually going to do a couple of different colors here so I'm going to start with my pumpkin pie crayon and again I'm shaving away this time I'm trying not to shave right into that same pile because I want to maintain that yellow area that daffodil delight area so instead what I'm doing is shaving and trying to place those shavings around that central pile of daffodil delight so again thinking about a flower form and shaping it kind of circular as I'm going around and placing these pumpkin pie shavings on the outer edge of that Daffodil Delight Center. And when you're satisfied with the amount of pumpkin pie that you have, we can go ahead and add another color. So I'm going to add some Melon Mambo, and this time I'm not going to be as cautious about separating colors because I like the idea of the pumpkin pie and the Melon Mambo starting to mix because when that flower gets created those colors will look really pretty mixed together so again just doing my shaving all the way around my flower once again trying to keep that central area intact and also trying to capture any of these stray little shavings that try to go toward the outer edge of my cardstock and finally I'm going to bring in some regal rose and I'm going to add that as well the harder you push your blade against your crayon and the further down your crayon you start from the larger your shavings are going to be if you wanted really really long shavings of course you could remove the wrapper on your crayon and go ahead and create really really long shavings just a little fun here and add just a touch of some Pacific Point into my flower just to give us a little bit of blue. So I'm feeling pretty satisfied with that pile and so now what we need to do in order to make this an encaustic project because encaustic as you know is hot wax painting and right now all we have are cold shavings so we need to heat this up if you went ahead and all of a sudden tried to heat this up with your heat tool your shavings are going to fly everywhere so we're not going to do that instead what I'm going to do is place a second piece of cardstock right over this first piece just like so to trap those shavings in between and I'm trying not to jiggle or wiggle things around 
And what we're going to use in order to heat this up is actually an iron. And your iron can be set on a low to medium setting because these shavings are so fine, they really don't need a lot of heat to be able to melt. So I'm going to bring my iron in and all I'm going to do is press down on my cardstock. And we're going to go ahead and just heat up that area. And then we're just going to peek to make sure we have melt. And I'm going to peek in between and I can see that it's melted. So I'm just going to lift and separate these two pieces of cardstock. And you can see how I have a really, really pretty abstract flower design. Now you could go ahead and add more shavings if you'd like. If you add the shavings right now, your cardstock is still hot to the touch or warm to the touch, as is my pressing board underneath. So if you actually add those shavings while this is still warm, the shavings will instantaneously melt right into your design. If you wanted to not have that happen and just add the shavings and then melt things, you want to go ahead and let these pieces cool before you go on to the next step. But I'd like to show you one other way that you can do some encaustic painting using your watercolor wonder crayons on this same flower. And to do that, I do need my cardstock heated up again. So I'm going to press these two together. It doesn't matter if you're pressing them exactly in the same place because it is an abstract flower. And we're going to go ahead and heat this up again. And this time, we don't have any shavings in between there. We're just reheating what we've already done in an effort to just reheat our cardstock and our pressing board. And we're going to pull these two apart and now I'm going to grab a crayon. So I'm going to grab my Melon Mambo and because this piece of cardstock is hot. Hopefully you can see this. The crayon is actually melting right onto that image and you can grab however many colors you want. You'll be able to do this as long as your cardstock stays hot and you can really feel that crayon melting as you do this. Once the cardstock starts to cool, it'll start to feel like a normal crayon again. So you won't be able to get that same effect. So that's a really nice way to melt additional crayon and to get a different look, which is what I did here on this card for this central piece. I did both the shavings and then came in and actually did some of that coloring with the hot wax crayon. The last thing we're going to do is add a stem. So I'm actually going to use this exact same piece and place it right over. And this time we're going to heat up the entire length of the cardstock because we want to be able to draw with our old olive crayon and we want it to be able to melt. So we need the full piece of cardstock heated. So I'm going to set this aside and grab my old olive crayon and very lightly, you really don't have to press hard, I'm just going ahead and I'm drawing my leaves and my stem just like that. And again, this is still warm, so you have some time to play around with it a little bit to make it look exactly as you would like. So those are two different ways, doing the shavings and then heating things with an iron or heating up your substrate, your cardstock, and then applying the crayon, which will melt onto that hot surface. Two ways that you can do some encaustic fun using your watercolor wonder crayons. So just to show you the few projects again, this one was a card where I just used that as a focal element on the card. I also had some fun with this card doing a couple of different techniques and then adding some dazzling details to my encaustic flowers. And then again, this technique, this part is on watercolor paper and this part is on Whisper White cardstock. So there you have it, a really fun way to do some encaustic painting using your watercolor wonder crayons.